a lot of my leg training consists of high repetition basics like variations of squats and lunges with and without a weight vest. And this is because these are great tools for driving the adaptations that I want to get out of my lower body training. Namely, a high level of conditioning and fatigue resistance, good mobility, resilient joints, basically a pair of legs that can allow me to run, hike, carry a heavy pack, train martial arts, maybe do all of that in one day and without feeling fatigued, sore, or too tired to do it all again the next day. And for that, high rep basics have been very effective tools. But that's not all I do for my legs. And depending on your goals, it may not be all you want to do either. So if you're looking to increase the strength of your legs, you have quite a few options available to you. But the pistol squat has become a sort of gold standard among calisthenics enthusiasts. And it's a fine exercise, but I like this better. This is a deep step up, and it's a good option for those looking to efficiently increase the strength of their legs beyond the levels developed through just high rep squats and lunges. And like the pistol squat, you get the increased loading, the deep range of motion for the quads and glutes, and the single leg nature of the movement recruits the glute medius, which is a hip stabilizer that's critically important for knee, hip, and back health, as well as athletic performance and injury resistance. Now, unlike the pistol though, this movement feels pretty natural. Pistols can feel really awkward for a lot of people. And since that non-working leg isn't held out straight in front of you like it is in a pistol squat, you aren't limited by the hamstring flexibility or the hip flexor strength in that leg. So those qualities can be trained separately if you're deficient in them. But at least with this variation, you can remove them as a bottleneck in your ability to take your leg strength to the next level. So to build up to these, it's pretty simple. It starts with building competence in basic body weight squats and lunges. And I think a surplus of ability in these basic movements is really important. So if body weight or even weight vest squats and lunges are challenging movements for you in terms of strength, instead of just conditioning exercises, then you probably don't need to worry about the deep step up just yet. But when you want to start building the strength for the deep step up, start with a low box and gradually increase the height of the box over time as your strength improves, always controlling the lowering phase and avoiding that tempting push off with the back leg that helps you cheat the movement. And as you get stronger, you can always add weight to this movement to make it harder and harder. It's as simple as that. So give it a shot. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.